ካብዚ ኣጽልና ኣነ 49 ምረብ ዝኸበርኩም ተኻታተልትنا ውድድር ክተ ኣብ መንጎ ኣብያተ ትምርት ናይ ካላይ ደረጃ ናይ ዞዋ ማከል ክኸውን ንሙሉ መከታል ናፍት መደብ ከስክረኩም እቲ ብዓብ ቆላሕታ ንጽበየ ወይካ ኣብ ሜዲያ ቀሪቡ ንህዝቢ ክምህር ዝኽእል ወይ ንህዝቢ ውጽኢት ናትኩም ከሕብር ዝኽእል ኮይኑ ከቀርብ ተስፋ ገብር ምናቱ ቅን ሕጂ ነካይዶ ዝነበርና ኣዚ ምሳጢ ዲሲፕሊን ዘሓለወ ዓይነታ ካካይድ ኣይና ከንከይ ጸንሕና ብዚያዳ ለምኻ ካኡ ዘበለጸ ውድድር ክነካይድ ውድድር ዘይኮነስ ኮነስ ፕረዘንቴሽን ክንብሎ ንኽእል ኢና ዲያሎግ ዲቤቲን ዘይኮነስ ፕረዘንቴሽን ኢና ክንብሎ ንኽእል ማለትቱ እዚ ተካይዶ ደልኹ መጥፈታት ብናትኩም ጻዕሪ ብናትኩም ሓርኮትኮት ስለዝኾነ ኣው ውድድር ዳኣቱ ኣይኮነን እንታይ ሕጂ ኣብዚ ኣብቲ ተመኩራን ገልመለን ክፋላለ ይኽእል እንበሪ ብሙሉኩም እቲ ተካይዶ ዘልኹ መጥፈታት ኣዚዩ ዝምስገን ወይ ኣዚ ዘኹርዕ ዘሕብን ኣካይዳ ይኹን ተኸዱ ደለኹም ለዚ ነቲ ውድድር ወይ ከዓ ነቲ መፈላለይ ዝበሃል ወይ ከዓ ንኽነቕርቦ ስለዝደለና ጥራይና ነቕርቦ ዘለና ብዚያዳ ግን ጻዕርታት ኣካይድና ነጥብታትና ጠርኒፍና እቲ ክቐርብ ዝግብኦ ጠርኒፍና ኽነቕርብ እንዳተላበኹ ብርኽ ማዓልቲ ጉድ ላክ ፎር ኦል ኦፍ ዩ ኦኬ ቴንክ ዩ ፎር ኦል ኦፍ ዩ ፎር coming here to participate in this final debating contest so today is ministry of education the wamakel branch dear stefanos gavariat head of culture sport and health johannes solomon head of secondary schools sir sutaklai head of basic education dear respected teachers beloved students and honorable parents i would like to give my thanks for sparing your time and participating in the final debating contest in English language among secondary schools. The main aim of the English debating is to share experience, express ideas, attitudes, values with confidence, assess the ability to communicate effectively, mastering of English language, creative, critical thinking, and potential of students. At the first round, a screening for English debating contest for all secondary schools was conducted in the first semester in two groups. From each group, three schools were winners. For the final debating contest, six secondary schools, namely Samatat, Dambe Sambal, Dia Isaac Tolemeden, Tzada Christian, and Barka, are contestants. Topic for debating is natural science is better than social science, this is pro, versus social science is better than natural science. The contestants are Samatat versus Damba Sambal, Isaac Tolemeden versus Sarah Christian, Dia versus Barca. This was announced earlier to the respective schools. Let me start just as a debating context. So the, as what it has just been informed, the debating context is among uh, six scholars, uh, just to save your time. The first thing what we are just seeking from the audience is that we are looking or we are seeking ultimate silence. So you can support, you can just give applause, but in, 
in a manner way. So, first of all, uh, there are some rules of this deviating. The first is that uh, seven minutes is only given per presenter, and three minutes for rebattling. The other is that in rebattling, only two and precise questions is allowed. And it's not allowed just to distract the debating by just going to and fro. So another is that the judge's decision is going just to be final and binding. So uh, the presentation is going just to be started, or the debating is going just to be started, just be between Samatat Secondary School and Dembesembel. So, dear debaters of Dembesembel and Samata Secondary School, we are just inviting you to be here in this. First of all, good afternoon, honorable judge, respected teachers, and dear friends. I am Adam Tesfalar here representing Samata Secondary School and to debate on the topic that natural science is better than social science. Firstly, I'm not here to overestimate the works of natural science, but I'm here to debate and emphasize that natural science is much more relevant, important, and more scalpful than social science. To begin with, we learn biology, physics, chemistry, and mathematics that is in high school, and we learn medicine as well as engineering in college and university levels. And to begin with, first let me explain what we learn briefly, biology. In biology, we learn about life and living organisms. That is, we learn in the organism structure, physiology, anatomy, even its distribution, diversity, as well as even growth. And the greatest contribution of like biology to humanity it is the knowledge of biosphere. In the knowledge of biosphere, we are able to focus the short-term and long-term processes of the Earth. Don't you think this is more interesting than understand that setting history? The second, physics. In physics, we'll learn like, um, about matter, its motion and behavior through space and time, that is, in relation with other concepts like energy and force. And the development of physics has led into the creations of crazy mathematical principles that, and also advanced gadgets that brought the world into globalization. And the third, chemistry. In chemistry, we learn about matter, that is, its chemical content, physical content, properties, and even like interactions of molecules within the matter. And the success of this field has led into a complementary chemical industry that plays a significant role in the world's economy. And for your knowledge, the pharmaceutical industry is the leading one. And you're also, chemical experts are the beating hearts of that industry and then into medicine. And medicine is the science and practice of diagnosis before treating them and also preventing disease. That is the paramount contribution of biology. It is the uh, like invention of vaccination, anesthesia, germ theory, surgery. We know surgery saves lives, but even the smallest procedure in surgery can be fatter without antiseptic principles because of infection. Engineer, at last this is my point. In engineering, it's like application of mathematics and physics theories combined with material science that in order to innovate something new that enhance the work of a, like the efficiency of a work. Engineering is not just the case of plugging numbers into formulas, it's a creative activity and done by analysis. And the paramount contribution, typical example is the artificial island in Dubai. In the artificial island in Dubai, it enabled Dubai to be recognized as an international city, leverage tourism, and also diversify Dubai from oil-based economy into like other economic sectors. And we can proceed, which is why we learn these subjects. Are they relevant? And how skillful they are? These are the questions I would like to answer in my presentation. Firstly, natural science as a systematic enterprise and like empirical science they use, which is they build and organize knowledge in a testable explanation and prediction about the universe. The present world is considered to be a physically advanced world, and which is science and its technologies are modeling the present world. Even education itself, it has been like transformed into a digitalized one. We call it edutech. And edutech, briefly, is a combined use of computer hardware, computer software and also educational theories and practices that in order to facilitate learning. And 
since our wallet is considered to be a digitally advanced wallet, there is hardly a job that doesn't need experts in science and technology. For your knowledge, even industry, which is the bidding hearts, are the engineers and technicians in which natural science can only provide. And I have a question for you. Do you think that the present world can standardize the people egalitarianly without the efforts of a natural science? Of course, absolutely. And we cannot proceed into, which is the information gallery in natural science. They are all expertly approved of. They are out of air. They are not just like some opinions that we may find in social science. And when we come into relevance, 1.5 million children, they die yearly because of diseases that could have been averted by natural science or vaccination. And for your knowledge, in 20th century, 300 million people, they died just because of lack of smallpox vaccination. Whereas politicians in Brazil, they like cut um, quarantine measures and also they fire health ministers. Are, they, are we going to adhere to these people? And I also want to to tell you about job opportunities. And job opportunities, for example, if you choose to learn medicine, we can be MD practitioners. We can be like doctors of different specializations, surgeons. We can become doctors of nurses and diploma. And also, if you choose engineering, we're gonna become like, what we call it, civil engineering, chemical engineering, mechanical engineering, automobile engineering, technical engineering. There are lots of options. And for others, like chemical, lab technicians, pharmacists, physicists, mathematicians, lots of lists. And at last, I would like to conclude my presentation that, look, let's see, our country, Eritrea, it is a young nation, but there is an abundant minerals. Don't you think at least we need miners in order to extract this out and catch those advanced world? I have prepared five points. Number one, we need ample scientists and ample experts in order to have or build a self-willing country. The second, we need MD practitioners and qualified doctors in order to have a healthy manpower to work, in order to work, they to work our work, or what we want. And the third, we need engineers and doctors, sorry, lab technicians, in order to have valuable treasures in which we can be proud of. The third, we need programmers and digital experts in order to have a systematic education system. At last, we need most modern like farming techniques and most apex experts in horticulture in order to bring the agrarian revolution. At last, if we supply these things in a satisfactory amount, we're going to have that flourishing nation with a gigantic civilization in which we will never live in faculty, but in reality. I'm very thankful for your lavish attention. Explanation was mainly concerned about how Eritrea is a developing country yes. and how we need natural scientists to provide us engineers or medical doctors or vaccines or whatever that was. Uh, do you think that we need natural science in our country? Do you think that we need more natural science than social scientists in Eritrea? We need a proper economy more than natural scientists or people who can create vaccines. We need people to organize them. We need governments to work on this, right? No. Okay, you can explain yourself. How are we going to like develop our economy? By proper economy, uh, we can develop our country. What do we need? Government. Government? Yes. Okay, what does government need in order to work these things? In order to work, government, the government needs social science. How? Which is at least... I like to, to conclude this, which is at least those what we call it, governments need industry. And the bidding heart of the industry are chemical experts, and the masters are, which is what we call them, engineers and technicians only. Thank you. Who's investing, who's funding for those engineers you, to work? You are... Whose money is it for those engineers to work on those, uh, what, what he was calling about the infrastructure? Who's the basic from this funding, without the funding and economy, without the proper economy? Will people be able to afford it? No, right? Firstly, you are funding us because you need us. You can now do. Politicians are good at getting things done rather than doing themselves. Sure, I'm we need them. We need them. I'm just not denying the fact that national science is important. Please. Second question. Okay, you were talking about medical care. Medical care. Yes, right. You were talking about vaccines and medicines. Yeah. yeah. Natural scientists created. Ah. So you can have the greatest medical care, you can mm. have the greatest climate change, but the main question is, how do we change people's attitude to turn up when they have symptoms? How do we make, how do we change their attitude to
support sustainability? How do we change their attitude? How do we lead them that you have this medical care? <laughs> okay. How do they afford it? Okay, thank you very much. This was in my favor, which is at least in the 20th century, 300 million people they died. There are six times than those who died in fleas. Fleas. Yes. And there are six times than those who died in the Second World War, and hundred times than those who died in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. How, which is, before you advance those people, they are already dead. You need qualified doctors to make them alive. Then you can lecture them. Who's funding for you, doctors? Who's funding for your research? You are funding us because you need us. You and cannot you stand by themselves. You, you cannot stand by yourself. Sure. You need us sure. to survive. You guarantee what's right as long as we are alive. Sure. But we give life. Here we're not uh, saying that natural science is not important. Of course it is important. Natural science is important? Thank you. Who's that was a way Which one is more that important? Natural yeah. science. You, we stand for ourselves, stand for you, and correct your, your like, your mistakes. Backbone. Okay, let's go this, my buddy. Oui. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Sure. Uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the host. Should I introduce myself by saying that my name is Wasu Mikiel, or should I say that I am a social scientist? Because it really ashamed me to put my name before this important topic, social science. Learning from your past, learning how we think, leading people to the future, leading a business to flourish, social science is the field that really matters. Social science is important because it helps people to understand and analyze not only their own behaviors, but the motivation and behaviors of their peers as well. We need social science in order to help us, to provide us knowledge to, to produce an efficient and inclusive institutions. If I start mentioning about social science, we won't end up. So I will just lay down the most important points. My first point is about better reading and learning and critical thinking. Anyone who studies social science, whether students or old people, it makes them better learners. Because in social science, it's all about analyzing writing, critical thinking to show understanding. By evaluating each other's decisions, we students develop the part of thinking and reasoning. We learn from each other's mistakes so that we plan for the future. The second is about the responsible values, culture understanding, and history. Think with me, how can we expect young people to have a positive contribution to a society? to engage in this courage, to thrive in a democratic society without the knowledge of life and history which made the world the way it is. Impossible, right? Anyone needs to understand the concept political science, history, culture in order to know what made the world this way and in order to know why is it important to be a good citizen. We as a student and us as a society, we need to understand, appreciate and learn about cultural differences if we're expected to have a meaningful interaction with people with different backgrounds in the future. And history? History is what made the world the way it is right now. It is really important to appreciate history because the only thing that makes it possible to learn from your past and plan for the future is history, right? And economic education, economic is a crucial part of history. Talking about economic, my economic teacher is here. Um, economics, whether it's studied on its own, whether it's studied under political science, anthropology, history, economic is like the basic thing. Young people should understand about financial decisions in order to understand what impact it has on their future and the future of their societies. Range of social scientists, not just economists, but political scientists, psychologists, sociologists, they can help us understand and analyze the importance of economy crisis. They can help us to understand the decisions we make on ourselves and the government makes on our behalf. We need social science to understand the world for the better. We need social science to understand about political skills. We learn about culture. We learn about places. We learn about economy under human geography, under anthropology, under archaeology, under history. We learn about political skills. We learn about government, economy, resources, how to develop our country 
under political science, under leadership, under law, we can say under social science. Social scientists, they help us to find alternative futures in our lives. The social science, they provide us, they present us with a bewarding range of social, legal, and ethical issues. What they do is that it's not important, it's not enough to relay on natural scientists. We need social scientists to criticize and analyze what is going on in order, in order for us to shape the future for the better. And for some of you here who think that social science has no contribution to our health and well-being, I want to tell you that starting from sports sociologists to public health experts, Starting from those people who are interpreting our medical statics to those evaluating our policies in cold care. Social scientists are working hard, really hard, and really hard to make sure that our health, leisure, and social care is to be best efficient. We need social scientists in order to understand the concept of making your neighborhood safe. So I'm not going to tell you that we city police, they come, uh, they government, they keep our safety. No. One common myth is that if you try to take measures to reduce crime in one area, criminals, they move to another area, leading to increased crimes. So what the social scientists do here is that, especially the sociologists, they try to help with the police by scanning crime pattern. Isn't this important? What we need social science is that to contribute for our life. It makes life better. It makes it education better. It makes the world for the better. What natural science do is that they create solutions for, for the problems they have on themselves. Most of you, if you're not hungry, you think no one else is, right? If you're not exposed to discrimination, you think that, or you don't understand the pain of being discriminated. If you're a girl and if you have the opportunity to learn, you think that every other girl has the opportunity to learn as well. But you're wrong. What the social scientists did is that they provided law for women where none had existed before, none had existed before, to become wage earners. They reduced the risk of hunger. They reduced the chances avoided of hazardous works. They provided barriers for women, including harassment at work site. Isn't this what humanity is about? What simply the government is doing in our country is that educating women. Educating women, he does not use chemistry or physics or uh, any other type of natural science. What the government is doing is that identifying their talents and helping them to know where to sell it, how to make profit, and what to do in their lives. And this is all under the social science. We need social science to broaden our horizons. What the social scientists are doing is that they're creating a modern art gallery all around the world. This is exhibitions for like programs, including the art, workshops, and residency. By this, the social scientists there provide sectarianism to women rights, discrimination, genocide, sexism, and feminism, and any other thing you can think of. The social science, they can guarantee our democracy. So here, I'm not going to tell you that you have to study law so that you're going to know your rights. I'm not. All right. Uh, so we have to understand that in natural science, what matters is your knowledge. In social science, what matters is who you are. In natural science, what matters is what you can provide for the uh, field. In social science, what matters is who you t what your talents are and how can you protect yourself. In, in social science, accept people for being creative, for being unique. Social science accepts people for being people. Thank you. It was a pretty long and good presentation. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to ask you a simple and basic question, which everybody knows, but very crucial concerning health. We need health to eat, to think, to communicate, even to survive. But lately, there is a global pandemic that threatened our health. Then which professional do you think preserved human existence in this planet during that pandemic? A politician or a doctor? A politician. Why? Because what contributed most to, to coronavirus was not creating a vaccine. 
What contributed more was to stop the distribution, which was by the government, by the social media. They told them, don't go out of your house. Who told they them? told them. Who told them? Government, the media, Who? social scientists. Who told the government to do so? Who told the government yes, to do medical so? medical scientists. How can a politician save people if you don't know how to treat them? Oh, how Is can... Is going to give him a political lecture or beer bottles? What contributed more? Wow. Creating a vaccine or telling people or stopping the distribution <gasps> to coronavirus? <laughs> what who contributed just, more? Who discovered what contrib Who discovered the virus adapter? Who told us the procedures in order to have it being Who invested? From the virus. Let me finish. Who invested? Let me finish. Come on, I guys. think, I think this is... Finish. And then, who told us to the procedures from being caught? Who invested? Who invested for the research? A doctor. And who, who, tell, who, who invested for the research? Adam? Adam? It's a simple question. Who invested? Who invested for those medical research? Who? Simple thing. Who? Who? <laughs> yes, us. Who's organizing us? Thank you. Who's organizing us? Government. Second question. Um, we know that social science is mostly ideology. Can you make it brief? Ideology. Yes, of course. And then, how can social science standardize the overall development of the whole world egalitarianly? Without the efforts of natural science, typically example, in artificial in art intelligence. I think he, he misunderstood the whole concept of this debating. We're not saying that natural science is not important. Of course it is important. Adam, I think it's my time to answer, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, right? Thank you. Uh, we need natural scientists, of course, to create things. We need them to create weapons. But who used them? Where is the real power under the social scientists? If natural scientists were that important, then why do you, natural scientists, sell your weapons to us? Why? Why can't you use them on your own? If engineers were that important, why do they don't organize the infrastructure they built by themselves? They are paid by the entrepreneurs who study social science simply because social science is better than natural science. Okay. No answer. Why are these sacrifices? <laughs>